everybody Ann here sitting in front of the tiny house having my coffee with all of you and watching the baby chickens and I'm pretty sure today's going to be all about those new baby chickens Miss Pris has already started taking them out in the yard but before I do I wanted to show you what neighbor lady made me for my birthday for dinner in the center is the most delicious tasting mixed greens that I've ever had in my life and then just above that to the right is a boneless skinless chicken breast that she seared perfectly on the outside tender and juicy on the inside just below that on the right is a Cajun seafood medley it's got some shrimp some crab meat chopped up onions some cayenne from my garden sweet bell peppers from my garden Garden. I don't know there may be a couple more things in there and then on the bottom just to the right of that is I think those are northern beans and she chopped up some cayenne and onions and green peppers in there too and then just above that to the left are fried potatoes with more onions more green peppers and more cayenne all from my garden delicious and then corn on the cob. Oh and and for dessert she made me a chocolate cape with a drizzle kind of uh, frosting and strawberry ice cream, which is my favorite. And now it's time for some baby chicken TV. She's got them out in the van, showing them a little bit of feed there. That's lair feed, it's not gonna hurt them. I think we need some chicken TV music, don't you?
baby chickens are just so gosh darn cute. And Miss Pris Fancy Pants is such a good mom. She wanted to take them out of the van. They're really only like two days old and she's already free ranging them. I'm watching them very, very closely because I want to make sure nothing happens. But she's a very good protector and Romeo has been very sweet and gentle with them too. So you know what? If you got a broody hen, I think that's the way to go. So we'll just see how things develop, how many roosters I got in this batch. Um, I don't know if I got told you guys, but uh, one of the prior brood crowed. Okay, I don't know if it was uh, Torch or if it's the other black one that I thought might be a rooster, but I don't think so. I think she's a hen, but I didn't see who actually did the cockadoodle do. I think it was Torch, so it's only a matter of time before he starts crowing, and uh, I don't know. I might be surprised. Anyhow, um, I got to go gather some wood process some wood, um, put it under cover, and, um, well, that's probably what I'm going to do today. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.